Asian carp are invasive fish imported from Asia in the 1970s that have infested much of the Mississippi River and many of its tributaries, some of which could serve as potential pathways to the Great Lakes. One historical connection to the Great Lakes is the Illinois River, which is connected by the man-made Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal to Chicago's waterways and Lake Michigan. Two species of concern, the bighead and silver carp, pose a serious threat to the aquatic ecosystems in the Mississippi River and Great Lakes basins by competing with native mussels and fish for microscopic plants and animals called plankton. The Great Lakes Restoration Initiative Action Plan and the Asian Carp Control Strategy Framework are major strategies and efforts to address the Asian carp issue. In this podcast, we highlight a combined Asian carp control effort conducted by USGS, Illinois Department of Natural Resources, and Southern Illinois University. During the summer of 2013, the USGS and partners demonstrated integrated pest management technologies in a backwater area of the Illinois River. The purpose of this project was to determine the effectiveness of combining multiple tools in limiting populations of Asian carp. The goals for this project were to evaluate and integrate technology, learn and adapt for future control, and identify and demonstrate management tools. During the three-day demonstration, multiple technologies were integrated in an effort to explore what a resource manager's toolbox might need to monitor and control these Asian carp. Researchers used two types of sonar technology to evaluate fish populations before, during, and after control tools were used to evaluate their effectiveness. The split beam sonar uses two sound beams alongside the boat that provided scientists with accurate information about fish size and their swimming path and direction in three dimension. The side scan sonar system used a high definition digital towing device suspended from the front of the boat that provided high image clarity of fish and bottom structure. The digital data taken in the field were processed after returning to the lab to provide detailed echograms or sound pictures of carp concentrations that allow for population estimation. Scientists used a variety of technologies to yield information about water quality, depth, and flows that are crucial in both the development and assessment of monitoring and control technologies. Sonar was used to map the depth and volume of the water in the study area, along with the velocity and flow into and out of the backwater. These data were also used to calculate fish densities. A high-tech stream gauge was installed to record water height, flow, and water quality information that examine patterns in the way fish move and choose their habitat, and thus determine what river conditions attract or repel fish. If these data can identify factors that contribute to the stalling of the leading edge of the Asian carp migration front, that information could be used by managers to potentially control or prevent the expansion of Asian carp into new areas. In an effort to improve the techniques to monitor, catch, or control carp, scientists discovered silver and bighead carp could be concentrated or attracted by offering an algal food mixture. Underwater videos in the lab show a strong fish response to the algal stimulus. This video shows a school of silver carp moving in and feeding on the microscopic algae particles in the water. In the field, during the demonstration, a cooler was used as a portable mixing and dispensing basin to deliver the algal mixture through feeding manifolds placed on the bottom of the backwater lake and used to disperse the algal mixture to deeper water. Multiple feeding stations were used in an attempt to attract carp into deeper water on the west end of the lake behind a water gun containment barrier. Fish activity was monitored before and during feeding application. Fish were observed in real time being attracted to the feeding sites during the demonstration by assistance of sonar technology. Data on carp and other fish sizes and movement as well as distance from the food source 
were used for evaluations and to guide future applications. Scientists found silver and big head carp can be repelled by the use of sound pressure waves generated by water guns through monitoring fish with cameras, telemetry, and sonar. The water gun is a metal cylinder that works by firing a piston within multiple chambers that creates a jet of high pressure water that is expelled from the gun. A containment barrier was operated at the demonstration site using two water guns to contain carp in one end of the backwater lake following methods found effective in previous pond and field experiments. Feeding stations were used to attract carp on one side of the barrier and commercial fishing was conducted to reduce the carp population in the backwater. High-resolution sonar data were recorded on both sides of the barrier to examine and record fish movements to guide future deployment of water guns. In the fight against carp, scientists and managers investigated whether increased pressure from commercial harvest could prove successful in reducing population. Between 2010 and 2013, commercial fishermen contracted by the Illinois DNR have deployed nearly 1,000 miles of nets, removing 100,000 carp, weighing over 900 tons, to protect the electrical barriers in the Chicago area waterway system in place to safeguard the Great Lakes. During the demonstration, commercial fishermen were used to fish down the population using gill nets both inside and outside the containment area of the backwater in designated fishing areas. During the three-day demonstration, over 1,000 Asian carp weighing nearly 15,000 pounds were removed from the backwater site. Federal and state partners worked together successfully to coordinate and conduct an integrated monitoring and control project, gaining valuable information in the fight against Asian carp. Monitoring tools proved effective in capturing both habitat and fish data that could be used both on the fly during these trials and for future reference information. The food attractant, water guns, and commercial fishing tools showed positive results. Lessons learned here will help prepare for future integrated control and monitoring studies on other tributaries where Asian carp are established. All control and monitoring technologies used in this demonstration were complementary and will be further developed for resource managers to consider as tools in the fight against Asian carp. The multi-agency partnership will continue to identify a range of field sites with abundant Asian carp where multiple control technologies can be evaluated over time. This podcast is a product of U.S. Geological Survey, Department of the Interior.